What's up YouTube? How are you doing today? Chana D, your Techno Dad here, and in today's video I'm going to be reviewing the SVS Prime Elevation speakers. And we're going to get into it right after the jump. <music> And I'm back. Now if you're new to the channel and you want to learn about 4K, home theater and audio products and how to set them up properly, you should consider subscribing because I'm here to help. And don't forget to hit that bell so you get notified when I do a live stream and answer your questions or when the next video gets released. Well now that that housekeeping's out of the way, let's get into it. Alright ladies and gentlemen, the time has finally come. Finally come for me to review the SVS Prime Elevation speakers. Now before we begin, I want to give a big shout out to SVS for sending over a pair of these for me to review. Thanks guys. Dolby Atmos and DTSX are kind of in the news right now in as far as home theater is concerned, adding that immersive experience. But if you don't have you know, a flat ceiling so you can do ceiling bounce, or you don't like the whole idea of trying to bounce sound around your room, and you can't cut holes in your ceiling for in-ceiling speakers, your next option and your best option are elevation speakers, specifically the SVS Prime elevation speakers. Now before I've even seen these in person or even heard them or experienced them, I was already recommending them. Like there's just sometimes, like there's just this gut feeling you get when you're like, that is the exact right product for the time. Like, this is exactly what we need. That's what I always thought about these SVS Prime Elevation speakers. And I was recommending them sight unseen. I haven't even experienced them, but I've been recommending them for months and months and months. And guess what? Finally got some in for review. Uh, I installed them the other day and over the past couple of weeks, been working them, putting them through its paces and re-experiencing Dolby Atmos and DTS-X. So first let's talk about what you get in the package. So these things run for $3.99 for the pair. I got mine in gloss black. I know there's a little bit more charge for that. You can also get them in white as well, but I didn't have anything white in my ceiling area. So black would go well with the browns that I got going on up there. So in the box, we get speakers, speaker grills. I really like the fact that they give you a magnetic SVS logo. So if you have these speakers set up in the down firing position, you will have a SVS logo that is upright. So that's definitely pretty cool. Along with the speakers and speaker grills, you get a template for the mounting bracket. You get the mounting bracket itself and you get the mounting plate, which just uses one screw that screws onto the back of the speaker. Let's take a quick look at the front of the speaker. As you can see, this kind of resembles a prime satellite speaker. If you guys haven't seen my review of that, I'll put a link down in the description and a card above as well. It's got the same one inch aluminum dome tweeter and the same four and a half inch mid range woofer. Now the main difference between these and the prime satellites is that angled front baffle. And we're gonna use this in the downward firing position, like I said before, to get the proper height effects for Dolby Atmos and DTS-X. Now on the back of the speaker, we have a five-way binding post. We've got your screw for the mounting plate and we've got a one inch port. Just like any other SVS product, these are designed well and built very well. There's a nice heft to them, which I always like in my speakers. Okay, so now it's time to install them. Now I mounted these SVS right next to my Klipsch RP140SA, which are at most modules, not necessarily elevation speakers. However, what I wanted to do was I wanted to AB them. So I had the Klipsch speakers plugged in, then I watched the scene, and then I plugged in the SVS prime elevations, watched the same scene, and did that a couple of times until I noticed the big change. So now I'm sure you're asking, Technodad, what did you find out about the AB testing? Well, considering the SVS Prime Elevation speaker is an actual speaker, it sounds a lot better with those compared to the Klipsch Atmos modules. Of course, again, the Klipsch Atmos modules aren't made to be an elevation speaker, but I have them used like that, and so far so good, I was totally happy with it. Now that I've used these SVS Prime Elevation speakers, 
I was totally missing out. So I went back and I know if you're new to the channel and you haven't seen because I know they're probably like over a year old, I used to review Dolby Atmos soundtracks on certain Blu-rays and 4K Blu-rays. And so I actually went back and listened to like Gravity or, or watched rather Gravity, um, Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. There's an awesome scene in Mission Impossible Rogue Nation where Tom Cruise is driving this BMW and there's all these motorcycle guys trying to like stop him or whatever. And he hits one of them and the motorcycle goes on the front hood and then on the roof of the car and then, you know, on the on the rear, on the trunk. And that's exactly what you hear. You hear boom, boom, right above you. And then, you know, another bump, bump behind you. So I was pretty stoked about that scene. That was an awesome scene. It's a great one. I even went through like three trap chapters of... Uh, uh, Jupiter Ascending. It's a Blu-ray. It's an old movie. It's it's not so great, but it has an awesome and very active Atmos soundtrack. So you guys should definitely check that out as well. I almost forgot. I just got this new Saving Private Ryan 4K edition, and this does have an Atmos track. And I got to tell you, if you haven't seen this movie, now I, I'm not gonna put out any spoilers out there. Matt Damon. But if you have not seen this movie, this is definitely a pickup. The first scene is super intense, super intense. And you know, they're storming the beach, it's D-Day. You know, they're, they're at Normandy and you got mortar blasts happening, explosions all over the place. On screen, you've got dirt, sand, whatever, falling on our characters. And guess what? Guess what? It's falling on us too. And those prime elevation speakers really, really got all the detail of those sounds. And you know, when I switched back to the clip, there was just something missing. So what is missing? Or what is it that these SVS prime elevation speakers add? I think in the design aspect of these prime elevations, if you are using them in the downward firing position, the tweeter is actually at the bottom, which I, I don't know what their thinking was for this, but I feel like it's better that way because we're getting all those higher frequencies closer to our ears as opposed to kind of blowing over our heads. And I know the Klipsch, you know, modules, the tweeters at the top. So that could definitely be why uh, I'm getting more clarity uh, out of all these sounds and height effects. So what's my take on these SVS Prime Elevation speakers? Now, as I stated before, I was recommending them long before I bought them. And guess what? They do get the Technodad uh, seal of approval as I probably will be keeping these. Um, so uh, I know my, my SVS rep is gonna get an email soon talking about, hey man, I'm probably gonna keep these guys. And since these has worked so well for me, I'm actually thinking about getting another pair and moving up from 5.1.2 to 5.1.4. So that's what I'm talking about guys. Like I'm really stoked with these speakers and I think you will be too. I believe it's the right product that solves a whole bunch of issues. Don't want to cut holes in your ceiling or you can't because you're in an apartment or you don't own the place you live. Fantastic. Get the prime elevations. You don't like ceiling bounce or you have lofted ceilings. Fantastic. Get yourself some prime elevation speakers. That's pretty much, you know, the way to go. And you'll have some fantastic sounding height effects for Dolby Atmos, DTSX, and Oro 3D. So definitely check out all the links to SVS and the Prime Elevation speakers down in the description box. And if you have any questions for me, go ahead, leave them down in the comments or hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or whatever it is, your social that you use the most. Well, that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked it, go ahead and smash that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel using the button in the middle of your screen. Once again, my name is Chana D. I'm your Techno Dad. I'll see you next time.